Hey everybody, and welcome back again. So, uh, I slight change of plans. Instead of going up to go and see Captain Monroe, I'm now going to go and help Sadie Adler and finish the whole Colm or Driscoll arc in this game. Uh, right, where's that? And uh, also, I'm, if I have enough time after finishing this one, I'm going to go and see Penelope Braithwaite and help uh, her and Bo get out of the country. Or state, or whatever the plan is. Anyway, yes, enough of this dilly dallying. Uh, if you could leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button, that would be great. But for now, though, let's get started. Let's go see Sadie Edler. Looking like a lady won't Don't help you us worry about me. Way. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. How did they capture him? Look here. They never Don't say. the public love an execution? You'd think we'd hear about, like, the how of it, wouldn't you? Considering he has, like, 500 men scattered across the map. Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. 
Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. I suppose that's one thing that we regular Arthur and Dutch roughly agree on, I guess. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Monsieur? Yeah, hello. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. How how is he whispering to me? Still. <laughs> From downstairs, I wonder. That must be one powerful set of lungs he has. Gallows, gallows, which way was he? that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. <laughs> They're just staring at me. Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court! Where you shall be tried, this is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Wow, okay.
got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Well, that, like, Arthur must be some kind of hoarder. Like, why would you take the rifle? You wouldn't. Like, you've already got a Carcano rifle. Just leave it there. You don't need it. Put it, put it in the bin. That's inconspicuous, right? A rifle sticking out of a bin. Oh well, never mind. I want to go and see Penelope Braithwaite. How you get on, Arthur? Uh, well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing. Okay, sorry to interrupt that conversation. Ah, uh, you bastard! Right, hang uh, on. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end. Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you... The world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again you've broken my heart again and i fear i have broken yours and for that i will never forgive myself but you must let me go now i enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young not because i don't like it but because i care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Oh, oh shit. Hey there, girl. Uh. There you go, did that one. What's the other missions popped up then? There's that one. Okay, an eagle flies. Oh, it's that one. Okay, I'll, I'll go there, do that one, and then I'll head down there and go and see Penelope, and I'll probably be in the next part. Just like a one-off thing. Uh, it shouldn't be a... Yeah, the next part shouldn't be too long, if I stick to that plan. And then back on then, we'll go and see uh, Captain Munro in the part after. Yeah, right, it's rad. So yeah, that was basically like Arthur's last chance at a sort of normal life, I guess. Normal, happy life. Away from all this. But at the same time, he also knows he can't have that life now. With the, you know, illness and so on. Oh. 
Uh, the amount of random events that happen in this part of the map is ridiculous. Can't, I can't ride the horse for like two minutes without something attacking me. Nope, oh, come on, stay under control. Ah, the horse is panicking. Such a long journey. Uh, I say this every like time I play the game. Though. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, this goes on for so long. I might uh, so go through the my my uh, wardrobe at some point and see uh, her changing up Arthur's look again. I like to do that every now and then. You know, say every few missions, every time we move camp or something, I try to change the way he looks. But it's really rough looking at him without a beard at this point in the game, because his face is just so like sunken. So I always like to try and get air, leave some facial air for him. Otherwise, yeah, it's just not not nice to look at. And it also makes sense if I'm doing it from like a character point of view for him to do that, because he can sort of see himself deteriorate. And the facial air kind of covers that up a little bit. I also like to let his hair grow from this point on, so... Yeah, it all goes well together. something I might have to try and edit out. I, I've kind of given up on telling my family that I'm re you know, recording stuff to put on YouTube. Um, they don't quite understand. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, well, if you knock, if you interrupt, you're probably going to be mentioned in the video and etc. Uh, I say that, and they still like knock the door anyway. So I've kind of given up on telling them. And I just kind of try to adapt as I go along. So yeah, if I am successful in editing this commentary, that'll be a little like blip in the commentary for a second. But if not, then you kind of know what I'm on about. Oh, there they are.
Nope, gonna put that away. Uh, what? What? Oh, okay. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. What? It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Hello, fair enough. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I'll do my best. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Whatever you say, Dutch. Oh, fearless leader. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Quick now, Arthur. Everyone into position. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that eh, son not, at the very least. There's not that many. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. 
Okay. They've passed the first charge. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Father won't be happy. Be about this. They fired first, son. Fire. You have to you bastard! Ah! Yep, they're coming up to meet me. Thing my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Did they think this was a good idea? Ambush the army. And be like, yeah, it's not gonna get us. It's not gonna come back and bite us in the ass. Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Oh, okay. we need to ride hard! Stay with me! Yeah! Master. 
Oh, so much for eagle flies. He was a good kid. behind you Dutch. And so is half of the US Army at this point. That's it for you. Let's keep going. Follow the path. It's gotta spit us out somewhere. That's way too many people. But I do like these guns, they really do clear up the area. I'm still reloading. How come I get hit and Dutch is just standing there? That's the only problem with some video games. It's like they obviously the AI is sort of programmed to um, put the player as like a priority target over NPCs, allied NPCs, which is a shame. Here. We're being overrun. Get out of here. Dead end. This is it. This. Well, Arthur, put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! 
Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed... They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Uh, I guess you can't. He just wanted to prove his point. You can't fight bullets either. Just to add that to the list. Escape from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. Favorite sounds. Okay, let me check the map. Nope, can we? Because I'm not 100% sh sure I'll do the Penelope Braithwaite mission. Uh, well, yeah, I'm quite decided. Just don't fancy traveling all that way <laughs> in the game. Um, so, yeah, I might just do the Captain Monroe one, uh, considering I'm closer to that. Next time I end up down this area of the map, I'll be sure to. Uh, Go and see Penelope Braithwaite. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and I look forward to hearing from you then. For now, though, ta-da.